Hello from the show me state. <laughs> give it a few minutes for the live stream to kick in. Thank you very much. Hey, Ken. All these guys carry our gun feet. Does your live stream stream to more than one platform? Not when, I, when I'm doing them from home, yes. From here, no. I'm just streaming straight on the YouTube app. So that application you were saying... Restream? That, yeah, yeah. That you use is only on a computer? Well, they have an app for it, and I, it's been a couple years since I've tried, I've tried messing with it, but the last time I messed with it, I, it was, there was something weird about it I didn't like. I can't remember what it was right now, but I haven't tried it in a while. I'm sure there's been several updates since then. <laughs> yeah, more than several. Yeah, probably so, yeah. 45 Auto, what's up? Well, that's about one minute in, so we've probably got. Uh... Is that my node? Yeah, it's mine on my truck. You have a node in your truck? The, the internet's not there. It's in my, it's in the van, but it's still sounding off. Oh, okay. Mobile antenna. Okay. I'm looking for, uh, okay. Pieces, All right, guys. Good afternoon. It's about two o'clock in Missouri, and we are at the Moore Expo 2023, and I'm starting on purpose in the Alpha Antennas booth, because we brought ham radio to the Moore Expo. Say hi to Steve. There we go. <laughs> That's Freddie Mac trying to hide over there. So the first thing you see when you walk into this show, because that's the indoor, that's one of the main, the, the two main entrances are right there and right there. And they both basically go to the same place. But first thing you see when you walk into the show is this. It's in tank radio. Tank radio. What the fuck? And once, uh, once they got tired of tank scaring people away, they asked them to leave. <laughs> There's an antenna right there. The hex tent is gone. It was set up yesterday. Oh, we do have it. You have to set up right now. Hex tenna, there you go. <laughs> anyway, so people are coming by asking about ham radio, listening to the HF radio. Very cool thing to see at uh, the Moore Expo. So, now I'm going to take you guys around out here first. We're going to walk through this outside area. It's a really beautiful day today, Springfield, Missouri. And then I'm going to go inside, but I might lose internet inside. So, we're going to try it and see what happens. So, come along with me and let me know uh, how everything is looking, how it sounds. Hey, Matthew. Going live now. <laughs> uh, let's see. So those those do they extend the axles on those things? Uh, probably with that okay. big of a lift. Yeah, right? with that big of a lift, they'd almost have to. because yeah. those stick way out. Is it? Yeah, the top is a like you can get into the tent from inside. That's, oh wow, that's that's rad. that's neat. Okay. Oh gosh. Yeah, these guys were here last year. Adventure further off road. All right. CB Adventure Supplies in Saginaw, Texas, just about a half hour from where I live. Been out to his shop a few times. This is up here, you get a lot of people setting up uh, showcase rigs and rigs for some of the, the vendor owned rigs and that kind of thing right there <laughs> leaf guard these guys come to ham fest sometimes leaf filter leaf guard for your roof and gutters <laughs> so they come here too what do you know Down there to the left is Storyteller Row. There's some uh, Instagram and YouTube Overland channels down there. Most of them are Instagram. There's a couple of guys that have a YouTube channels, but most of them down there are Instagram. So I had a spot down there last year. I did not get a spot this year. I'm considering maybe going back next year. These roller cam guys, we got a few of their products earlier. I didn't bring any product because I heard you were here. They have these paracord 
rollers, and these are perfect for throwing antennas in a tree. And then it's got this roller mechanism here, and you just, you just pull it taut, and it's done. And it can't go back the other way. So several guys have come by and told these guys they need to bring these things to Hamvention. This is kind of the end down here, so we're going to walk this direction. Good morning, Jack. Oh, there's Freddie Mac in the chat. <laughs> 45. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like a gutter or house building show, is it, type of event. <laughs> They've got the Power Sports Expo down there this year. That's new this year. They didn't have that. So inside of a new building, they have way on the other side over there. They have Power Sports uh, vehicles, side by sides, boats, jet skis, and that kind of thing. Some motorcycle stuff. I walked through there yesterday. Kind of neat. Something different. Tire table right there. Cedar Ridge Campers. These guys I saw here last year, and I was really impressed with these roll-up bed rolls that he has. Oh yeah. They're a little bit pricey, but they're all made in the USA. Okay. Very good quality. Okay. Yeah, we, I bought one of his pillows last night because I didn't bring a pillow with me to this trip. No. So, we got a, Kyle got an interview with him yesterday, but bornoutdoors.com, born outdoor, no S, bornoutdoor.com. Very high quality bed rolls, comfortable sleeping pads that go down to like 20 degrees or maybe zero degrees, depending on which version you get. So, that's some neats. Very well made. This guy here I talked to yesterday, Wizard Works Off-Road. He does custom design, custom built bumpers, rock sliders, different stuff like that, front and rear bumper, fenders. And I went up to him and one of the problems I have at these shows is I tell people that I have a 2004 pickup truck. And they're like, no, we don't make anything for that. But I asked him about it yesterday. He's, he's like, yeah, I've made those before. So he builds them all custom order. And I already talked to him yesterday. He's going to build me some rock sliders. So I got his card. I'm going to email him when I get home. But finally, I can get somebody to build me some rock sliders and a front bumper, which I, both of which I need on my truck. This is a cool mat here. You got a ring of fire in the middle. It's pretty wide. Kyle thought it was cool, but it's, it's bigger than what he wanted. Something smaller like that might work. Those are nice. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. These are some non-lethal firearms. They shoot pepper pellets or like rubberized bullets. This is pretty cool. 
pretty cool stuff actually. Say that a lot of guys take them out like out hiking in the woods or you shoot a, if you have a bear come up to you, you have it, if you're quick enough, I guess, you could shoot them with pepper spray and it's supposed to be like bear spray, I guess. I'm not sure how successful bear spray is, but it's a thing. Who are you filming for? Myself, it's a YouTube channel. Awesome. Yeah. Hercules tires, they're giving away some free tires here. If you wanna to enter to win, you guys check out this QR code right here. I don't know if you can scan that through the video or not, or not, but try to scan that QR code there. Enter to win some free tires. <laughs> Rivian has a good display here of their electric trucks which are neat looking trucks. Pretty cool stuff there. Those are fairly new. Dirt box overland truck drawer system and bed topper. Right, yeah, I didn't Dirt know. box. Huh? <laughs> I didn't talk to those guys yet. This kind of like looks like a neat system there. Interesting. Well, and the thing that I always tell people to do with um, you know, low heat and stuff, you start adding some of this stuff. Hmm. HYK Outdoors teardrop trailers. The Ford Ranger. Seeing more of these Ford Rangers out here. Thank you. These are tactical fire pits. Kyle bought one of these kits. They sell these, they sell them fully assembled, of course but then they sell a kit and you buy your own ammo can and build it yourself. And Kyle got one of those yesterday. I think Frank bought one this morning. So look at this. Uh, Global Expedition Vehicle here. That thing's enormous. A 5500. The Dodge Ram 5500. That's like a 1.5 ton. So 3500 is a 1 ton. Sheesh. That thing is enormous. Now these guys here, this rocket can, they make kind of like updated, modern, more modernized jerry cans. But also with them, I think part of the same company is these Wilco off-road guys. And I actually found them online about a year ago. And they're in Texas. They're outside of Austin, Texas. And they make these tire swings, these spare tire swings that attach to your receiver hitch on your truck. And then of course it, it uh, closes behind your tailgate and it opens and swings out. You can swing them out, have them swing out left or right. And that's exactly what I want on my truck because you can mount, you mount the spare tire here, of course, 
Back here you can put jerry cans or other kinds of accessories. You can put, you can, this is a load bearing uh, hitch right here. So you can connect like a lighter weight trailer. I don't know if my trailer will work or not, but a lighter weight trailer will. And then this is a non-load bearing. And he said, oh, you can put a flagpole in, in there. And I'm like, I'm gonna put an antenna in there. <laughs> so I've got their information now. Talked to them about what I wanted, confirmed that it would work. We're gonna be putting that on the truck probably sometime later this year after I get a new set of wheels and tires. So I'll have a video about that when that all happens, of course. How's the wind? Some wind pick up out here. So I've got my dead cat on my microphone, but hopefully the wind's not too bad. Wind, not a problem. Thanks, 45. Do not use the ammo box when it's full of ammo. Hey, there's a there's an idea. <laughs> there's people in here selling these badges. Kind of like a notch on your belt for places you visit. And they have one for this specific event, More Expo 2025. Here's Zion National Park. I bought that one and I put it in my truck and I'll put it on the truck when I get to Zion National Park this July. I bought the one for Grand Canyon. They didn't have one for Big Ben. I need to ask her. I need to go ask her. You know, she told me, she said, are you looking for something specific? And I should have said Big Ben. Yeah. Yeah. I might go in there and see if they, she has a Big Ben one. Toyo tires. So I talked to this guy yesterday with the windmill. They make, they manufacture these windmills. He calls him Dorothy, and he says he's got a smaller one that he calls Toto. <laughs> and he says like an eight to, 12 mile, tw eight to 12 mile per hour wind will give you about 15 watts of charging power, which is not much. Wind power is kind of, it takes a large windmill to have any type of like really efficient setup. But I think that's a neat idea because like it's been windy most of this weekend and he's got that as trickle charge on his battery. He's got a, it's got a charge controller, similar to a solar charge controller. He's got a charge controller between it, the windmill and the battery, and it keeps a constant flow of charge coming into the battery when the wind is blowing. So I think that's a neat setup. It's not gonna power your home, but it's pretty good to use on the road, I think, or in a campsite. And wind power, unlike solar power, wind power works at night. These guys are selling yeah, camp stoves. <laughs> kind of neat. Zero Breeze, they make those 12 volt uh, uh, air conditioner slash heaters. The greatest thing about this tent here is that they have beer taps. Ha <laughs> ha. Blue Moon Boulevard, Coors Light. Cherry Blossom and Lime Cork. Hey. Hey, how are you? Good, how are 
I'm actually filming the tap handles, not you. Sorry. <laughs> Cosmic IPA on that one. Well, well. Uh, well, well. Hi. Uh, have a beer. Of course. <laughs> Am I on the wrong side? <laughs> okay, well. I, he just saw the beer taps. He doesn't care. <laughs> what kind of, what? What kind is this? It's a strawberry, or sorry, it's a cherry limeade. A cherry. Seltzer. Oh, it's a seltzer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good for you, sir. Nice. I'm go get me a seltzer later. Because I'm not drinking Coors Light. But it's pretty cool to have that here. This guy did up an old, uh, older model Range Rover, or Land Cruiser rather. No, Land Rover, Land Rover. Uh, yep, Land Rover. I think that's a 70s model. That's kind of neat. Land Rover. Oh, he's selling front runner. That's good. Okay, here comes the uh, demonetization. <laughs> Because <laughs> of the music in the background. I know, and I'm in constant, like, like I can't talk to Rough country. They got a look at that. Anderson Power Pole. Power folds are elusive to most of these the guys in this world, believe it or not. Life without doors, cab ponchos, two door and four door Jeeps. All right, this is pretty much the back here. Oh, there's some more Rivians back here. I think they're one of the sponsors of this show. We got to look inside this one. All right, so 
There we go. Big screen in the middle there. A seat back. Back. Not much room behind the back seat, but it is. Oh, actually, it's six seats. That's a third row there. Interesting. So there's a front row, obviously. There's the second row. And there's the third row right there. Huh, interesting. A neat, neat looking vehicle. Oh my god, someone stole the engine. <laughs> I think someone stole the engine out of the front of that thing. I know. Right. I forgot to put it in. <laughs> Good luck in that thing, home. <laughs> cool. Oh, look at that. There's a compartment underneath the uh, like storage compartment underneath the bed behind the back door it is a four door this one is anyway hey good so this one's a pickup that one was an suv obviously no engine in this one either <laughs> these are neat looking i don't really know much about them but they do look really nice All right, let's walk up to the front and see if I can keep the internet after going inside because most of your vendors, well, most of your accessories vendors are inside. And uh, the, you know, all the trailer guys, most of your trailer guys and rooftop camper guys and stuff like the larger stuff is out here in the parking lot. But there's some of it inside too. But all of your smaller accessory vendors are inside for a minute there I thought he was praying <laughs> This is cool stuff here, Overland Chef. Right here in front of me, makes a bunch of cooking spices and... Granola. Guys, I am so sorry, it's actually already so Sorry. He's got a pretty good uh, Instagram following. Overland, search for Overland Chef on uh, Instagram. I started following him a while back. All right, let's find our way back up here to the front. Is 
that's the new Ford Maverick, which I don't personally really care for. I don't. I thought I was going to like these when they came out. I don't. I don't think that it's not really for me, but I can certainly see the appeal of them. Smaller truck with a Smitty built rack on the back of it and the bed rack. And this one I really like here. This is one of the new Rangers. Do you have any questions? Sure. I really like the Ford, those new Ford Rangers. They started re-releasing them in 2019. And there's a lot of these Toyota guys at these Overland shows. And I'm like, where are all the Fords at? Because I'm more of a Ford guy. I really like the way that these are done up. And I've seen more of these this year than I have in the past. So it's good to see those in there as well. Ham radio set up right there. All right, guys, we're going to walk inside. Y'all are going to have to tell me how well the internet does or doesn't work. I can see the screen a little bit better now myself, too, because uh, not as bright in here, obviously. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Have a good time. I'll, 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 yeah, I had a lot. Good. So this is a cool thing they do here. I put my patch in the center yesterday, and somebody took it, which I'm happy about. So this is the right side when you come in, and that's the left side over there, through there, and then this is the center area where Midland was last year, but this year they've got classrooms. All the classrooms are back in this direction. I'm gonna go this way first. I haven't lost internet yet. You guys tell me how it looks. That's a pretty cool Midland box right there, like a little GMRS go kit. Getting blurry, okay. <laughs> Getting blurry. Talk to the guys at Method Wheels. Those are probably the wheels I'm gonna be using on my truck. And they gave me a discount code for the show, so I'm gonna be upgrading the wheels on the truck soon with that. These guys, Bullet Point Mount Systems, they've got a lot more inventory today than they did this time last year, because couldn't really find much for my older truck. With them last year, they mo make mostly stuff for Toyotas and Jeeps, but they had a universal mount for an, a phone, wireless charger for a phone that I got yesterday. And I just added it to my existing radio mount that I custom built in my truck. Getting very blurry now. I haven't seen it drop yet. It goes all the way back to that wall.
sampled some of that coffee earlier. It was pretty good. Exotic game beef jerky. Ricky'sJerky.com. Video fading. We boost. Sport keg. I bought one of these kegs from this guy about two years ago. Uh, one or two years ago. I don't remember which one it was. It's a cool portable keg. Comes in three or four different sizes. Getting better. Okay, I'm getting back to the center now. I didn't go all the way to the back wall. Now, the water pump. I'm gonna go over here to the other side and see what. I'm not gonna be able to get all of it, I guess. Get your Overland apparel here, patches and t-shirts and hats. The more hat I'm wearing, I bought here yesterday. These guys right behind this trailer here, this is CB Adventure Supply out of Texas. Uh, they're in Saginaw, about a half hour from where I live. I've been out to their shop two or three times. They're just a reseller of multiple different brands. They do installs as well. Twenty-three zero dealer, among other things. Another coffee vendor here, Campfire Kenny. Hey, good, how are you doing? Logic Overland, I think is their name. Sampled some of that yesterday, it was good. I really like that one. Now this is the first year I believe that Extrusion Overland has been here. The, uh, and they're the ones who built the roof, the uh, bed rack, not the roof rack, the bed rack that will be going on my truck. And this guy has an F-250 with a really good lift on it. And this is an, ex an example of Extrusion Overland bed rack, which is very customizable. How's it going? Should I move? Huh? Should I move? No, you're fine. Is this your truck? Yeah. You want me to what? demo anything for you? Uh, no, I'm just kind of doing a walk through the whole thing. Uh, I just bought one of these extrusion, well, last Black Friday, yeah. last year I bought, and I have an F-250 also, it's older than yours. But um, I, like to, I like to see it on an F-250, it's pretty, pretty good. Sweet. So. I'm Clancy, by the way. Clancy, Jason. Jason, nice Yeah, to good you. to meet you. I feel like I met you yesterday. Uh, I was here yesterday, yeah, very possible. Where are you guys out of? Uh, I live in Memphis. Okay, okay, good. These Condition 1 cases are supposed to be really good. I've never used one, but it's supposed to be pretty good. So, see how these kind of, these can fold up and down. Got a tent on top. Really cool setup there. Have the whole side pop up. Some Molly panels at the front there. So these are all made in Kansas. So I was interesting, or I was excited that they were made in the USA and very modular, very well done.
maybe by Hamvention, maybe I'll have that on there by Hamvention, but I definitely want to have it on there before we make the trek out to Zion and uh, Yellowstone this July. The old Toyota right there. This is the back wall in this building. How's the internet doing, guys? How's the stream quality? There's Hiker Trailer, which Kyle has a new channel about Hiker Trailers. Square Drop, Square Drop Adventures, I think is what it is. Stream quality is surprisingly good. The internet must be better over in this side than it is the other side. Thank you. Hiking in Hammond, probably buying a hiker in the next year. Good. Kyle really likes his. Go for his channel if you don't already. He's got a lot of new videos about his hiker trailer he just bought. Another coffee company. Huh? There's like four of those guys here. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. Hey. I bought one of these yesterday. This is one side and this is the other side. It's got these pockets on the inside. It's got these tool on the back side. I bought one from you yesterday. <laughs> Can you imagine all the antenna accessories that would fit in there? I may put tools in mine. I may put antenna stuff in mine. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Some battery guys here. Garmin right there. I gotta stop and talk to these guys actually. I wanna talk to them about some of their systems they have there. The towel for every adventure. 
And there's the back corner again. Yeah. There's that old Toyota again. With the extrusion overland bed rack on it. Kind of cool. So that's pretty much everything except for the second half of the, la of the first building I went into because uh, the internet started to blip in there as you guys told me when I get in there. So yeah, I'm not going to go over there again. But really fun show. Many, many more vendors this year than they had the last two or three years. This show has only been going for five years. I just learned that yesterday. As I knew it was a fairly new show, I didn't know it was only five years old. So I've been the last three years of the five years and we, we have a really good ham radio presence at this one this year. And we're gonna try to, everybody wants to come back next year. So we're gonna put it out there to the community and try to get even more people to come back. We've got a whole row of gazelle tents out, out uh, outside at the campsite. And uh, we've had a fun time this weekend. So been here since um, Wednesday night. So we're gonna camp tonight, pack up, go home tomorrow. And then um, get ready for Dayton Hamvention next month in uh, Dayton, Ohio, Xenia, Dayton, Ohio area. So thanks for hanging with me today, guys. Put a comment below. If I met you this weekend, if you came by and said hi, thank you. And um, hope to see you on the next trip.